Okay, um, Gene Deal did an interview over at Art, and he said an interesting comment. He said that he felt that the Tupac murder was an inside job because why else would Trayvon Lane tell Tupac um, that Orlando's standing right there? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. I made a promise to, to myself that I wasn't going to speak bad on Gene anymore or even go at Gene anymore. Because just like I said up until my opinions on stuff from death row, that's all he's doing is being opinionated. I hate and I try to purposely not ever speak on any bad boy incidents other than things that happened with Misa and things that I purposely observed or was at like at the tunnel and stuff like that with bad boy. But to speculate what they did wrong or their security procedures or, or, or all of that on, on the death of Biggie, why they didn't fire one shot when Biggie got killed. I said I wasn't going to do no more. Uh, so that's why I would hope and would hope that Gene would, would think about that and on putting out his speculation in the future of things that he don't know about that happened with Inside Death Row. Number one, he said Trayvon need. Why would he come out and and whisper in Pac ear and tell Pac and not not his homeboys? Well, John, play this audio on what Trayvon said he did. Stuff didn't happen like they putting it out there, so y'all don't believe you know all them documentaries y'all seeing because them people out there profiting off of our lives. You know, saying so they didn't live that. You know what I mean? They got the world thinking that. You know, that I was the cause of Pac dying and all that, you know what I'm saying? Or I made him jump. You know, I know y'all got a lot of questions and I can't answer them all for y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all that's false. Okay. Y'all hear what Trayvon said he did? He said he was talking to his big homies. John, say what he exactly, well, y'all heard what he said. So y'all don't need John to tell you what he said, but y'all heard it. And so that show you right there the jeans was incorrect about that statement because that's not what Trayvon did. Trayvon has always told me since he set me my record straight. And we get that from Frank. And that's what just people speaking on things that they heard from other people and stuff like that. Where Frank always try to say that he whispered in his ear or something like that. But Trayvon adamantly denies that. It makes sense what Trayvon is saying that he was talking to his big homies and Pop took off and ran and took off and, and fired and, and jumped on Orlando. That's what I believe. That makes sense. The going whispering in Pac ear when Suge, Neckbone, Buntry, probably Rick James, I, I'm not for sure, but whoever else was standing right there. But he gonna go whisper in Pac ear? Don't make sense. But y'all again, listen to what Trey has to say about that. Because I don't want to be tapping that. Keep going back and forth and start up a new pissing war with Gene. Y'all know how much I respect Art and his channel. And so, yeah. I'll just let the record speak for itself. And then as y'all do with everything, you believe what you want to believe? And... We're going to believe what we want to believe. Okay. Can you speak on um, the rumor um, or the speculation that after the fight with Orlando in the MGM Grand that Suge asked you to send five bodyguards um, over to them? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got to remember when timelines when people saying stuff. That's when me and Suge was going at it. And he had people with his ear and stuff like that when he made that statement. But if you did that, what that say about Suge Knight, if that's true? Are you scared of Reggie now? You tell Reggie to do something? And Reggie just say, fuck you? No, I ain't doing that. Is that, y'all, is that the relationship y'all think me and Suge had? Me and Suge had a mutual respect type relationship. But if he asked me to do something and I just... 
and then that happened because I didn't do it? Why wasn't that brought up in Frank's book? Frank taped that whole conversation. Y'all heard what Frank said when Shook said in that dialogue. But well, Frank, Frank ain't never said that. This is something that Shook said later on with him and Reggie beefing. When Reggie's on the on on the uh, on a tape with Lloyd Lake Tata calling him a snitch and a rat. Then he come up with that to try to make Reggie look bad for whatever reason. But okay. Oh, Reggie, he said that. He told you that. But then he leave me in charge of his company? If that, that's the truth? Then I'm over there dealing with his mom and Molly and Tom Wally and him? Making deals happen and all of that? If that happened? If that's true, a true statement? Then what that says about Shug Knight? Reggie must be a bad... Y'all pump a nigga head up. I don't know how I'm able to get in, into a house. My head got to be so pumped up and so big when y'all believe stuff like that. So the man going to leave me in charge of his half a million, his family first. His kids, his wife, his mama, daddy, everybody go through Reggie to get the shit or to get whatever they wanted. So he left me in charge of all of that stuff but the one thing he asked me and tell me to do, I didn't do. I thumped my nose at him. And then six months later, he said, here, Reggie, here's the keys to the car. Drive this, drive this bus, as LeBron, as, as Charles Barkley is saying, and, 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 and Shaq is saying, now you drive the bus now until I get back. Damn. Either Reggie a bad motherfucker or Suge is the softest nigga in the world. Which one is it? It's neither one of those. It didn't happen. But he said it. Why? I can't wait to get him on the podcast so we can talk about that lie. Because that's a Suge Knight lie. That's just like the million dollars in the briefcase. A million dollars in a briefcase. Do you idiots know what a million dollars look like? Can't fit in no briefcase. But I'm a liar about that. No, she'll just, you know, she'll say stuff for you guys. You know how to play. He's a marketing genius, I keep telling y'all. He's a marketing genius. But the nigga mouth ain't no prayer book. Just like mine ain't. But think about that. Reggie was driving the bus for five years, but the biggest star on death row got killed because I didn't do what he said do, but he let me drive the bus even after that. Don't make sense, y'all. But, it just don't make sense. I'll leave it there. But what would the fire, now I gotta say it, if those five guys was there and Pac wasn't sitting in the middle of the back seat with them surrounding him, Will Pac still be here? Come on. Will Pac still be here, y'all? The way that went down. All those secret services and all those uh, security guys was around that guy in Japan. What happened to him? If somebody want to get you in a setting like those when you exposed to the public, you're going to get got. Don't care who you are. Ronald Reagan... JFK, all of them got got when the best supposedly security guards and secret services was around them. You can get got. It's just what you're supposed to do after it. So the only thing I take blame for with Frank, bitch ass, is because he didn't do what he was supposed to do as far as either returning fire or getting a good description of the car and license plate. But two of the homies did do what they were supposed to do. They did what they were supposed to do. Just, unfortunately, their aim wasn't that good. 